Hey guys, grab your paper and we are going to do an example of how you divide whenever your dividend has a decimal. So here we go. We are going to figure out what 45 and 6 tenths divided by 5 would be. Okay, so if your dividend has a decimal, you need to start by taking that decimal point and putting it straight up into your quotient. That's it. That's all we have to do that's different. And then your long division is going to continue the same way it has been. Okay, so you just want to make sure you take your decimal point and put it straight up. All right, then we're going to go ahead and divide. 5 can't go into 4, but it does go into 45 9 times. 9 times 5 is exactly 45. So when we subtract, we have nothing left over. Go ahead and bring down your 6. Okay, 5 goes into 6 one time. 1 times 5 is 5. Subtract, and we have 1 left over. But remember, we don't have remainders anymore, so we need to continue dividing until we don't have any. So to continue, we're going to put that 0 in the dividend. Okay, we're after the decimal point, so adding that zero in there is not going to change the value of our dividend, but it will allow us to continue the division process. So now 5 goes into 10 twice, and 2 times 5 is 10. We subtract, we don't have anything left over. Okay, so 9 and 12 hundredths is the quotient.